Jonathan Marks here from ADHD in Adults.com. We've just posted another Ask the ADHD Expert session, and this one is all about ADHD in sleep, sleep disorders, and everything you need to know with Vatzel Thacker, MD, from the NYU School of Medicine. We all know it's important to get a good eight hours of sleep per night, but many of us don't get enough rest throughout the week. We can develop what's called a sleep deficit, and this can affect the quality of our life negatively, from not being alert enough during the day, to nodding off, to making silly mistakes, and to getting in serious accidents that can cause injury and even death. In this session with Dr. Thacker, you'll learn about what proper sleep should look like and the different kinds of rest you need. If you have ADHD or you know someone who does, or if you are a healthcare professional treating individuals with ADHD, you can encounter extra challenges that you need to know about to improve sleep quality and quantity. Sleep disordered breathing can be double the rate of people without ADHD. ADHD people tend to fall asleep later, sleep less soundly, wake later, and are sleepier during the day. Restless leg syndrome and periodic limb movements can be five times higher in ADHD in adults. In this Ask the ADHD Expert session, you'll learn all about this and more. What good sleep looks like, what sleep problems and disorders there are, what you and your doctor can do about them, and how to get a thorough sleep evaluation, especially if you or your patient has ADHD. Watch our one-hour session, ADHD and Sleep, Sleep Disorders, and Everything You Need to Know by visiting our website today. Mm -hmm.